Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk Southern Columbia football. Yeah, another win for them. They're going to play for a state championship this weekend against Aliquippa. Well, uh, Gabe Delbo is joining us right now. Gabe, uh, not only do you guys have the athletes in the backfield, but uh, what always seems to happen with Southern Columbia, you have some tough guys up front, and uh, you're, you happen to be one of those guys. Uh, let's first talk about uh, – the toughness of your team because uh, you guys will, will match physicality against anybody and you happen to do it against a, not only were they athletic West Catholic, but they were pretty, uh, pretty solid as well as far as toughness. Well, um, well, you know, John, uh, one, one thing that's always a, uh, it's a big thing in Southern Columbia and that's, uh, any off season, um, as a team, as whether you're an offensive lineman or a D back or running back, everybody's in the weight room and everyone's pushing hard. And, um, we put up some terrific numbers this year. Um, everybody just really, it hit, we hit the weights hard. We hit speed camp hard in the off season, and um, we just took all that and um, we just carried it right throughout the football season. And it's, it's really helped us, and um, it's just showing this this time of year that um, all that work is paying off. And um, by the team, we just rely on each other. Um, the running backs know the offensive lineman has their back, and every offensive lineman knows we all have each other's back, and um, just go out there and have fun. Gabe, uh, talk about that pride that you have about uh, being fit and being ready to go. I know uh, there's some family traits there uh, with the Delbos that uh, you guys do a heck of a job uh, as far as uh, being in shape and making sure that you hit it hard. Um, yeah, I mean, since a young since a young age, I, uh, I I'd say it's been about six years. I'd, I've been lifting hard for six years, and um, I just haven't stopped. I can't get enough of it. Um, I just. Uh, I know when it comes to the sport like football, if you want to be dominant and dominate, dominate other people on the on the field, um, it starts in the weight room, and um, that's just that's that's been my thing for the past couple of years. I had an older brother that um, went to the program, and uh, I just followed him in his footsteps, and uh, I learned a lot from um, from lifting to playing and being aggressive. And my dad too, um, always around, always helping me, and uh, just a lot of motivation between them two, and. Uh, teammates too, with a lot of teammates, uh, listing people, um, and having listed partners and friends that I know just, they're always in there with me. I'm always busting together and that just helps. Gabe, when you talk about, uh, moving guys that are bigger than you, I know West Catholic, uh, they had a couple, they had a, one guy in particular went about 330, maybe it was 350. He was a huge guy up front, but talk about going against guys that are bigger. Cause usually at Southern, you guys are pretty lean, always in great shape. You have some 220s, 240s, 260s, but you guys usually have some, uh, some fitness about you that, uh, you have some good endurance and pushing yourselves in a lot of Saturday workouts with coach Roth, uh, always uh, in the season helps too. Yeah. Um, well, whenever it comes down to playing someone that's bigger than you or someone that might even be stronger than you, it always comes down to, uh, to whoever wants it the most and whoever has, uh, whoever has more desire to, like, just dominate in that play or in that set. And, um, if you're playing someone, someone could be bigger, stronger. They could, they could have so much more, uh, so much more on you. But if you want it more and, uh, you're more aggressive, you can, you could pretty much take anybody. And, um, at Southern, uh, we're not all about just putting on the weight and, um, it's just, there's, there's a lot about the muscle and the strength and being strong and, uh, confident and aggressive. And, uh, when you play aggressive, it, it really, it makes up for any size or lack of size that you have. And that's, that's how we approach it. Gabe, let's talk about the leadership this year. Uh, I'm sure you're one of those guys who leads. Uh, there's other guys on the team that do it as well. Talk about the senior group that, uh, has really helped and, and pushed all these guys here on your roster. It all starts uh, with uh, past years that went through. Um, there's just a tradition in the program that um, when it comes to your time, when you're a senior, um, you step up, and if, if the leadership role is you, you take your leadership role, and um, you lead the other guys, you lead the underclassmen, and uh, other people follow. And, um, we have quite a few leaders this year. Um, no one can really be singled out. Um, everyone comes together, and whenever something needs to be said, everyone everyone's there to say something. And it's not it's not really individuals. It's just, it's a group in general, and um, it's just great. It's a great atmosphere. Gabe, uh, talk about uh, getting some family support out there at the games and what they mean to you to help you, whether it's with uh, a classroom work or help you, uh, you know, on the field or with your athletics and just being there for you. Talk about your family. Um, it's great. 
my family has always pushed me in every single thing that I do, um, whether it's uh, whether it's wrestling or or it's football or weightlifting or anything or school. They're always there. They want me to do my best, and um, it just helps um, knowing that someone's there. They want you to do your best. They encourage me, and um, that just it helps me. It helps me go as hard as I can and um, work as hard as I can to uh, do my best. Gabe, talk about your future endeavors for 2016 when high school's over. Have you given thought to, to college or to some other, some other type of career? I really don't know what I want to do yet. Um, I'm hoping that um, God helps me uh, realize what, what I need to do. Um, I'm just kind of looking to him to uh, steer me in the right path. I know I want to go to college. Uh, I'm just not sure where. And I, don't, I really don't know what I want to study yet. Maybe something in the medical field. Gabe, getting back to the football field with some of the skill guys you have, uh, Marks and Hunter Thomas, of course, Dick Becker, quarterback, and there's some other guys in the backfield and at receivers as well. Uh, talk about those skill guys and them being able to finish and get to the end zone. Um, well, there's there's nothing in the world better than knowing that you have someone that um, is willing to go out, they're willing to take that jump and take that leap for the ball, and that they're athletic and they can make the play, and they have the, they have the desire to go out there. And um, one thing, when it comes to our skill players, you can tell when they're playing, they're not just playing to take the ball. They're, they're, uh, and in their minds, they're, they just know every single time they grab the ball that um, they're not going to get touched, they're not going to get tackled. They have a, they have a strict mindset that um, they know that people, everyone else is working to play and um, that they just got to take the ball and no one's going to take them down. Gabe Delbo here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers as we talk Southern Columbia Tigers football. Uh, Gabe, would you talk about Coach Roth and his demeanor and the coaching staff and what they do for the Tigers? You mentioned that whole thing about tradition. I know Henry hanoski has been back to see you guys this year. And there's some other players in the mix. It just uh, it, Southern Columbia, just, uh, I mean, Coach Roth he shows he's he's been one of the best in the state of Pennsylvania ever. Coach, uh, the one, one thing... Uh... Coach is, uh, he's been around. He's, he's been through, uh, all the state championships, coached a lot of great teams, um, been around a lot of great players in the past. He really knows how to, uh, control a team, um, keep everyone calm and focused and, um, make sure that everyone just keeps their eyes on, on the prize. Well, the thing that Coach Ross, uh, really helps us with is, um, he always instills in us that, um, we gotta, we gotta play with confidence and attitude and intensity. When, whenever you go out in the field, um, you, you have to have confidence. And you have to believe in yourself, and you have to believe that you're going to beat your team. And uh, he helps us uh, with the mindset and the realization that um, we're the strongest and we're the most talent, the most talented team in the field. And um, the one thing that we need to do is we need to go out there and we have to use those weapons to come out and play and um, sacrifice for each other as a team. And um, he helps us to know that um, we can't hold anything back. And when it comes to big games, we just got to play fast and hard and. Um, just play like a team and a family. We're not just uh, just a group of friends that are just playing together and, and having a blast. We're a we're a family, and um, there's a lot of respect there. Um, everyone respects each other and respects coach and respects the authority. And um, he just he really uh, emphasizes that we're, we we be class acts and uh, we don't just uh, free range and do whatever we want. Um, there's a there's rules and there's things you have to follow. That's definitely one thing I've noticed over the years with Coach Roth. Uh, it's no fooling around. Uh, nobody who's who's won. It's always the team effort at Southern Columbia, and he's done it, and you guys have done it with class as a program over the years. And Well, uh, there's one more game to go, Gabe. We're rooting for you guys this weekend against Aliquippa, and we appreciate your time, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Hey, uh, thank you. Thank you for uh, thanks for having me. Um, thanks for the opportunity. You got it. Gabe Delbo from the Southern Columbia Tigers here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.